to Alien Gear Holsters YouTube Live. So today we're going to be talking about a few more popular carry guns. Uh, this has been kind of a theme so far in this series where we talk about a you know, very popular carry gun that uh, you know, a lot of people usually have experience with. Uh, and today we're going to be comparing a couple of really popular ones. So today, when it comes to a budget-friendly concealed carry piece, Two guns a lot of people end up uh, you know, end up either weighing or seeing out there are the Smith and Wesson M&P Shield and Taurus 
Millennium G2. Uh, uh, they do have slightly different price points, but uh, that said, these are two that a lot of people end up looking at. Now, uh, just to show you that these are clear, we have an empty magazine, nothing in the chamber. The magazine, nothing in the chamber. Make sure we're safe here. All right, so we have Taurus Millennium G2. Smith & Wesson M&P Shield. Now these are two very, very, very popular concealed carry guns. Now, a lot of people have sneered at Taurus over the years. They did have some quality issues for a while there, but uh, they've changed a whole lot and uh, it, they're starting to improve quite a bit in terms of quality, so that's really not as much of a concern anymore. That said, uh, a lot of people may sneer about the Taurus and you know insist that well you're going to get what you pay for and so on and so forth and uh, you know I, I it just may not be the case anymore because the G2 is actually a is a lot more popular than you'd think it's one of our in fact both of these are some of our best selling holster models so out of you know all the different holsters that Alien Gear sells two of the most popular ones, and I mean like top five, are the Shield and the G2. So don't kid yourself. A lot of people out there are carrying a G2 every day. They bet their life on it. You should be able, uh, you know, you may, you may find you like it enough to do the same thing yourself. That all said, so both of these guns are subcompact polymer frame strike fired pistols. Base model will both come to 9mm, but you do have some caliber choices when it comes to each. The uh, Millennium G2 is also available in 40 Smith & Wesson, although it will be labeled the PT-140 G2. The Shield comes in 9mm, 40, also 45, and there's a new model that just came out in 380 ACP, although it's a little bit different than the uh, the 380 Shield, uh, the uh, Shield 380 Easy is a little bit different than the base 9 millimeter Shield, but it isn't. That's it. So, some of the tail, the tail of the tape. The Shield has a 3.1 inch barrel. It's about 6.1 inches long, about 4.7 inches high, and just under an inch wide. Right. It holds seven to eight rounds of nine millimeter, depending on which magazine that you uh, that you actually carry with. This is a flush fit. It comes with a flush and an extended. So it fits in like so. Uh, you know, some people will carry like a lot of other subcompacts. Some people will carry with the flush. Some people will carry the extended. Me personally, I have slightly big mitts, but I can actually get a good grip. I can actually get a pretty good grip on just the flush fit magazine, although well, the extended does fit me a little bit better. That said, there are aftermarket ex magazine extensions that you can get that will even increase the capacity up to about 9 or 10 rounds. But it's a single stack, but that said, you know, very nice and light, under 20 ounces, I believe it's 18 unloaded, just under an inch wide, very easy to carry, very easy to conceal. I, it, for very good reason, it's one of the most popular carry guns on the market today. You just can't go wrong with one. You just can't go wrong at all with the shield. The G2, a little bit different. So, it's not too much bigger. Barrel is 3.2 inches instead of 3.1, and it's 6.3 inches long overall, about 5 inches high, but it's 1.2 inches wide. So it's a little bit beefier in the hand. Uh, this is partially due to the magazine. So this one's double stack. It actually holds 12 plus 1 of 9mm, uh, as you saw earlier. The empty magazine, we're all safe here. And that extra, that extra bit of, one, of uh, height does give you a little bit better purchase. I mean, it's a, this is not a big gun, but I can get a good grip on this, and I don't have the smallest of hands. So that's, a, that's something a lot of people out there will actually appreciate. As far as features, the uh, G2 is, uh, the G2 in and of itself is relatively bare bones. You get, uh, get a manual safety, get white three dot sights, and that's about it.
it run, yeah, it pretty much it'll run how it's brung. The shield, you got a little bit more options there, and base sights are three dot. It does, you can get it with safe with a safety lever. You don't have to carry it with, uh, you don't have to carry it with it on if you don't want to, and you can also get a model without them. Now, some people, you know, that is a thing for some people. Uh, you know, some people insist never carry with a manual safety. Some people insist, you know, that you should. Whatever, that's a personal preference. I kind of like having a manual safety, and I can actually tell you from uh, from experience that the safety lever on the shield itself, it is real. It's actually a lot easier and a lot better to operate than you might think. I and mean, it's really small, so you might think you miss it. You'd actually, uh, you'd be surprised if you haven't handled this thing. With that all said, another big difference is that the shield actually comes with a lot more factory options. So, as I mentioned, base sights are th white three dot, but you can get you can opt for night sights. You can opt for carbon, uh, or not carbon fiber. Sorry, you can opt for fiber optic. That makes it a lot better for shooting in low light environments. You know, whatever you want. Also, it, it can be had in a bunch of different finishes. This is the base model, which is, you know, which is black, but you can get flat docker earth and, uh, you know, and a few others. So you do have those options. You can also get factory lasers, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So that's a lot of stuff that you can get from the, uh, there are even performance center models you can get as well with uh, ported slide and barrels. So the shield, just from the factory, there's a whole lot of options. The Taurus G2, This is pretty much how it comes. As far as finish, you can get it in any color you want, so long as you want black. Nothing wrong with that, though. Aside from that, the shield also has a whole lot of aftermarket support. A uh, big thing in the gun realm, just like you know, it is with cars and uh, you know a whole bunch of other hobbies. People like to customize their stuff. You know, a, you know, they take a, a, a base model gun. And then they uh, start adding things. They improve the sights, maybe add an extended magazine, match barrel, this, that, upgraded trigger, this, that, the other thing. With a shield, you can easily do that. I mean, there is an incredible amount of aftermarket support for these. So you can add a lot to it. You add an Apex trigger kit. You can upgrade, uh, like I mentioned, the sights. You add, an, add a uh, threaded barrel if you want to use a suppressor. You know, uh, there are a lot of lasers out there for it, all kinds of stuff. There's a lot you can do with a shield as far as adding aftermarket accessories. The Taurus, not so much. The only company I found this, after, with a bit of searching that did much in the way of uh, you know, offering aftermarket support was, uh, I believe it's Lakeland LLC, and they're pretty much it. There aren't a whole lot of other companies offering much for, uh, as, far as, as far as Taurus though. So if you're the kind of, if, if you want a gun that you're gonna upgrade, that you're gonna, you know, drag kicking and screaming into something that's completely your own. Yeah, the shield's going to be a bit better for that. Taurus, not so much. Then again, you know, if you just want, uh, you know, if you just want a workhorse, yeah, the, Tor the Taurus is definitely a pretty good, and also a solid value. Now, as it, like I said, both of these are very, very popular concealed carry guns. I, a lot more people out there are carrying the Taurus than you might think. And both happen to be supported by the Alien Gear Shape Shift Modular Holster System. Uh, actually, both of these were in the initial release of the Shape Shift. You know, so, if you have either of these guns, if you're wondering, yes, you can get a Shape Shift for it. Uh, with the exception of, uh, if, uh, although I think our Shield 45 is about to come out fairly soon. I don't know if it's uh, necessarily out just yet, but the shape shift for the Shield 45, it's almost here. Just, you just got to wait a little while longer. So which one should you get? Well, it kind of uh, it kind of depends on what you want. Okay. Like I said, if you want to add a bunch of stuff, you're going to be able to on the Shield. You won't so much with the Taurus. You're not going to be able to add a whole lot. So if that's you, Shield's the better buy. However, if you're just looking for a workhorse gun, well, the thing is, you're going to find both of these in just about any gun store. They're everywhere. They are very popular. Uh, some people might think you get a, 
you know, uh, that the extra to, that the uh, extra amount you have to pay towards this for the uh, the shield is uh, you know one of those you get what you pay for things. Not necessarily the case. A lot of reviewers and a lot of owners have found that the Taurus G2 is actually comparable, if not close to the equal of the Smith and Wesson Shield. True, they have their off, they have their, uh, yeah, they have their problems. Every gun does. There's, you know, there, there's, there's no perfect gun that's never suffered any sort of maladies from the factory, or anything like that. Don't kid yourself. Yeah, that even includes Glocks. Some of them have problems. You're just going to have to get over it. Anyway. Price point for the G2 does make it really attractive over the shield, as far as that goes. So if you're looking for the better overall value from a workhorse gun, I'd say the G2 is going to have it. Not to mention it does have the extra capacity. But then again, uh, the shield is close to the perfect concealed carry gun, I mean, as close close to it as uh, as it can get. And both of them are. You know, it doesn't cost. It still doesn't cost too much. They're reliable. They're accurate. It's easy to shoot. Both of them are. Both are nice to handle. There's a lot to like either way. You know, uh, honestly, you will never go wrong buying a shield and. So it's really it, they are worth it. So I don't I don't know that necessarily the price would be the big thing for me if I were choosing between them. I'd really look at uh, I'd really want to pay attention to how they both felt in the hand. And to me, at least, this is going to be different for you. The G2 does feel a little bit beefier, but I kind of like that. I, I kind of like a little bit fuller grip. And again, just me, I kind of like it taking up a little bit more in the hand fitting in there a little more firmly. I do like that. But that's just me. You, uh, if you want to decide for yourself, you got to get out there. Go handle them. Go shoot them. You know, uh, find a range of rents. Shoot both. You know, uh, uh, get an impression for yourself. And ultimately, the one that you like better is going to be better for you. But if you asked me, I do like the feel of the G2 a little bit more. What some people might not like, of course, again, the manual safeties, if you absolutely can't stand the thought, the shield can be had without one, the G2 can't. This is how it, this is how it comes, period. But, honestly, both of these are great carry guns. Get out there, handle them both, shoot them both if you're trying to decide between the two of them. Either way, you can't really go wrong if you're just looking for a workhorse gun. But if you want to add a bunch more stuff, the shield is going to be the gun to get. If you're just looking for a workhorse gun at a really solid value, I'd actually edge over to the G2. But again, just personal opinion. Do we have any questions from the audience? We don't. Anyway, so like I said, both of them are available at just about any gun store. I, you know, I don't think you'll have a problem finding either of these. The G2, if you look at Taurus's website, MSRP is like 300. If you look at the M&P Shield, MSRP is about 450. That said. You'll find the shield for anywhere between 350 to 400 in most stores. The G2 anywhere from 199 to about 250 in most stores. So yeah, that's a you know that's about a good you know 150 to 200 dollar difference. Having you know having experience with both, I don't know that it's necessarily 200 dollars difference. But that's you know. A, but then again, your you know your mileage gonna vary. We have a uh, question. Uh, Bradley Huffman says, "When will you have the 4.0 IWB for the shield?" Well, we already do. It's it's available right now. Uh, check out AlienGearHolsters.com. Look at our uh, IWB holsters section, and you should be able to find the uh, 4.0 there, and you'll find that it's available for the 
for the shield. As long as that's the shield 9 and shield 40. I know those are available right now. Our shield 45 is going to be out very soon if it's not already. Uh, Pyro said, wants to know, is live streaming going to become a regular thing for you guys? We certainly hope so. <laughs> well, uh, it, it sort of, uh, it may depend on a few factors, but uh, we think it's going to be. Of course, granted whether or not some people like that, that's a, you know, that's a whole other thing. I mean, I got a face made for radio. Anyhow, if you're looking at getting a good budget gun, both of these are great picks. Uh, depending on what it is that you're looking for, you know, you might edge to one or the other. Me personally, I'd edge a little bit more to the Taurus just because I like the feel, but it's going to be different for you. You're going to like what you're like. You're going to like what you like. I'm going to like what I like. Anyhow. Check out more at AlienGearHolsters.com. Thank you very much.